So down in LA, we checked out NVIDIA's new full desktop grade 980 in a laptop. It's pretty insane, and if you haven't seen our quick on-the-spot coverage of it, click up here because it's pretty great. The Mastercase 5 by Cooler Master gives you the freedom to truly make your mid-tower PC case your own with a variety of modular parts and accessories. Click now to learn more. While we were there, we also got to check out some pretty great looking laptops. And when you pair NVIDIA's design philosophy for this product of more cooling and not only an unlocked GPU, but an unlocked CPU as well, with the hopes of the user overclocking both of them, that leads to some really tasty sounding laptops. I'll start with the Clevo. Some of you may be wondering what Clevo is exactly. Well, if you haven't heard of them, that doesn't mean you haven't used their laptops. Clevo is an ODM, or an original design manufacturer meaning that you will find their designs under many other brands who will make either minor tweaks or even just rebadge them and sell them as their own. Their main offering here is the P870DM. This laptop comes equipped with a GTX 980, as you'd probably expect, and a desktop grade 6700K, along with 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 1080p G-Sync display, all running Windows 10. So basically a desktop in your backpack. On the left-hand side, you have a Gigabit Ethernet jack, two USB 3.0 ports, a USB-C Thunderbolt port, an SD MMC slot, and a USB 3 slash E SATA combo port. On the back, there are two full-size display ports, a power jack, and an HDMI port. On the right-hand side, you have a slot for a lock, four 3.5 millimeter audio jacks, and one USB 3.0 connector. And lastly, on top, you have a very nicely backlit keyboard and a fingerprint reader for stuff like logging in and encryption. Next up, we have the Aorus X7, which is considerably thinner than the previously mentioned Clevo for easier transportation experiences. Comes with the same GTX 980 graphics card, but with a Core i7-5700HQ this time around. Also with 16 gigabytes of RAM, a 1080p screen, and G-Sync technology built in. All running, oddly enough, Windows 8.1, although you should be able to pretty easily upgrade. On the left-hand side of this guy, you've got two USB 3.0 ports, one HDMI port, one mini display port, and an SD card reader. On the back, there's also a USB 2.0 connector and a power connector. With the right-hand side having two 3.0 ports, one HDMI connector, one mini display port, and an SD card reader. And last but not least, we have the MSI GT72. This guy's closer in thickness to the Clevo than the Aorus. It's still rocking the GTX 980, which is like kind of the whole point, so not too surprising. A Core i7-6820HK, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a 1080p G-Sync panel, all running Windows 10. On the left-hand side of this one, there's four USB 3.0 ports, four 3.5 millimeter audio jacks, and an SD card slot. It also has a party in the back with power, ethernet, HDMI, mini display port, USB Type-C Thunderbolt, and a security connector all kind of hiding back there behind the screen. On the right, it has an optical drive, which is actually pretty surprising these days, and two more USB 3.0 connectors. The top also features a backlit keyboard and a bunch of settings buttons along with the power button over kind of on the left-hand side. Considering the sheer amount of raw power in these laptops, I'm pretty excited to see what kind of splash they make on the market. I ended up playing E Valkyrie on the Clevo, and honestly, the experience was smoother than a number of demonstration PCs that I've tried it on. That may speak more to the lack of performance in the demonstration PC than anything, but still, these laptops are packing some power. Just before the end here, I'm going to throw up some performance graphs, but if you actually do want to see the proper performance of these laptops, I recommend, again, checking out the previous video over here where we actually check out the technology behind the GTX 980, not M, that's in the laptop. Crunchyroll is a site created by anime fans for other anime fans. They offer the most current episodes of new shows straight from Japan, like Raka and Gate. They also have a large collection of the most popular anime series, like Bleach. And all of the content on their site is professionally subtitled. Head over to crunchyroll.com slash Linus, and you can get a 30-day free trial of Crunchyroll Premium ad-free. If you enjoy the many benefits of Premium, like 1080p streaming, getting new episodes of shows within an hour of their premiere over in Japan, and being able to stream anywhere, anytime from a variety of devices like your phone, tablet, or even gaming console, you can continue your premium membership to Crunchyroll for only $6.95 per month. So head over to crunchyroll.com Linus and check them out.
All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you didn't like the video, click the button that corresponds with that. If you did, click the other one, share the video, like the video, comment on the video, do all of those things. Also, think about becoming a contributor on the forum using our Amazon affiliate code. It helps us out a lot. Or buying a t-shirt like this one from the link down in the description below. If you guys want to see another video and you don't know what to watch now, click the button up here to check out our original review on the actual desktop 980 that actually goes in a desktop.